Hold My Drink with Charlene and Ellie, a Go Loud original podcast, proudly supported by Primark, the ultimate high street destination with everything for your perfect summer. No, we've definitely both said it, but I will never share another relationship online, ever. No. Never, no. ever, ever. For some reason, I feel like I'm going to be like the auntie who like chose a career over a man. No. And like doesn't have any kids. You get no. married now, we just stop. I can't wait to get married. This is giving me major like love bombing vibes. That's bad. When someone love bombs you and then all of a sudden they like take it back and you get like addicted because you're like, oh my God. Yeah. Why aren't they like how they were? Yeah. So welcome back to this week's episode, which is kindly sponsored by Primark. The ultimate high street destination has everything to get us girls and guys to the perfect summer. Hashtag love the feeling is their latest summer campaign that makes you want to snap up your summer must-haves and be sunshine ready at all times. When you're looking to update your everyday staples, you'll always find the perfect outfit in Primark. However, peak summer season 2022 is upon us and let's face it, there's nothing like that last minute Primark dash to get you with a hot girl summer vibe. I done the dash today. Actually. I saw it on your Instagram. You're I was gonna say I got some new ninnies. I got matching bras. I've no one to wear them for. But listen, I got these are like chopsticks to put in your hair. I saw. Is it yeah. like a little bun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to do that. I probably will fail, but cute. And cute. I got wipes. Gorgeous. Yeah. yeah Anything and everything you need. Right, exactly. So this season's all about eye-popping brights and standout lemon prints to glam up your wardrobe. So whether you've got a one-way ticket to your dream destination booked or a plan to let your hair down at a local festival this summer, Primark will satisfy all of your style needs with plenty of fun and affordable options. Dressing to impress has never been easier. Summer 2022, it's time to hashtag love the feeling with Primark. Head to your local Primark store now to pick up everything from summer sandals, the hottest cohorts and all the festival and swimmer pieces that you need. And you can log on to www.primark.com to check out all of their summer pieces before heading in. Very handy all together, isn't it? So this week on Home Drink, we spoke about how to be single, um, our tips and also how we're getting on being single. Talked about kind of a recap or reflection on oh yeah, ref- our, I like that word. Yeah, reflection on our last two months because it's been two months since our breakup episode and like how we're feeling, um, about like moving on and mm-hmm. all that good stuff. Yeah, we done our way to tell you. Charlie ended up in A and E. I did. That's <laughs> something new. <laughs> and our secrets and styles as well. But yes. well, I think if you're a newly single or anyone who's been through a breakup at all, who at any, and everyone has. Yeah, at any it's, stage it's in their life. One of the only things in the world that like everyone's gone through, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and everyone, everyone can relate. Relate to, to yeah. yeah. I think that's why people like relate to breakup so much because it is everyone. Yeah. But if you're yeah, if you're anyone actually, if you're a human, you'll relate to this. I think. Yes. And, and like it so. We hope you enjoy. We love So welcome back to Home I Drink with Charlene and Ellie. Welcome. A Go Loud original podcast. If you're new here, welcome. I feel like we haven't welcomed any new listeners in a while. I know, yeah. But if you are new here, our podcast is like a group chat between your best friends or a girls' bathroom on a night out where you spill all of the tea and the gossip and help strangers with your life problems. Yeah. I feel like that's the place where you do tell strangers. All I feel your like life I haven't problems. done that in a while. Have you not? I haven't really had many problems to tell. Where I'm that has all changed. <laughs> <laughs> Next time you're all getting <laughs> earful. Anyway, listen, um, but yeah, if you're a return listener, then welcome back. Um, How I Drink is out every Wednesday, but we also have bonus episodes every Monday, so you can listen to more of us. Two days of us. Lucky ducks. Lucky ducks. <laughs> so we do a bonus episode where we just do our advice section, which is called Sneakers from the Stalls. Mm-hmm. Um, so you can listen to them there as well every Monday. Yes. So I'm back after... A one week hiatus. Yes. Oh, it's been a few week hiatus. Since before I beat it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love it here. <laughs> I'm so happy to be back. I love it here. I love it here. Um, yeah, I was unwell yesterday, which I'll tell you about in a few. But yeah, mm. we're back. I'm glad you're back. Are you still dead after a week? Oh, surely. I'm not really right, to be honest, either. I don't think I've... I think this whole year is just... Fucked me up. I'm done with it. Like I can't keep down this. Yeah, you can, no, no. I really. It's put me in bad form. Mm. I'm putting myself in bad form. I had a fresh weekend last weekend. Not to rub it in, but Thanks. it was the best. <laughs> Fuck you. I was like, I can't wait to speak to no one. Yeah. Sit in my bed, journal on my iPad, yeah. and just. But you couldn't. You had a wedding. It's not like you just went out. Like yeah, that was great memories. Oh, that. like best weekend ever. I don't think anybody will, or I don't think anything will, will ever will top, top that. that weekend. 
Like probably not even my own wedding will top the weekend. Oh no. <laughs> I swear to God. It was unbelievable. Oh. It was so good. When you were a bridesmaid. I was a bridesmaid. Adorable. And you cried up the aisle. Sobbing. No, that is so I cried anything, you know me. That's but true. that was just so there's just so many emotions. Did you cry at Caitlin and Tony's wedding? Caitlin and Tony's are our friends, by the way. Yeah. But you did? did. Yeah, I'm always crying. Weddings are just so cute. Weddings are adorable. I actually cried today in the salon. What? Would you believe? Why? Oh, I just, I don't know, I'm just feeling emotional today. But um, she was, uh, Gemma, doing my hair, she was, she was like, oh, you just be so proud of yourself, like, about the live show and stuff. And she's like, imagine, like, younger you, like, look, looking oh, at that. And I was like... Oh. No, I was like, I was like, oh, you're going to make me tear up. And then I started tearing oh, up. Shit. And I was like, oh my God. That is And then I stopped. Though. It is. That is. Our live show is tomorrow. Holy God. But if you're listening to this, it will have been, it might have either passed or else it'll be today if you listen to this on a Wednesday. Oh yeah, yeah. But yeah, how do you feel? Nervous. Do you? Mm. Why? I'm just scared I'll pull a mute. I know I keep saying No. It. You won't. I'm just scared I just won't say anything. No, of course you will. I just want my energy to be fully back for tomorrow. Yeah, you need to, yeah. Yeah. Like you could have a little coffee or something right before, or a shot. I can't I don't even say the word shot if I see another shot. Why did I think I was fucking the expert at Jaeger bombs? Oh, I was dying the day after the wedding, and I was like, "Why? I'm either gonna." I had a pint first. Oh, of your tips. Yeah, and I was like, "The pint will either save me or send Fill me." You. Yeah, but it sent me. Oh, I got really tired then, and yeah. I was like, "No, I need something else now. I need a bit of a pick me up." Yeah. Like, and Red Bull is in a Jaeger. Is it Red Bull? Yeah. yeah. The day of the wedding, I was just on the same level the whole day. Mm-hmm. Just because obviously we were up since half six this morning or half getting six ready mo- that morning. Getting and do you ready. start? Do you start drinking when you get ready for when? Like when you're getting your makeup done? Yeah, we were drinking mimosa. Yeah, so we were drinking all day. So my drunk level just stayed the same. Yeah. Like, and I nearly drank myself sober. Oh God. So the Sunday, I was like, okay, you're going to get married today. Yeah. So someone said, come on, we go do a shot. And I was like, right, okay. And I was like, I want something different. I don't want tequila around. Like, yeah. Anything. And someone mentioned a Jaeger bomb. And I was like, ooh, haven't had Best one of them times. in years. And then I remember just every time I walked into the bar and walked back out, I'd be like, girls, I'm on my third. And then it was getting to girls, I'm on my sixth. Oh, God. And wonder. then it was getting to me posting them on my stories all the time. And then I think I did, I was trying to think of it, I think I did about 12 Jaeger bombs. Yeah. Oh, I blacked out. Can't remember going no, to No, I know when you're drunk, when you, when you put up a story oh with, my someone, God. With, with some random person who I've never heard of. Why do I do it? I was with someone's time and I was like, she's drunk. But they asked me. <laughs> They're like, w- can we get a picture and will you put it on my story? Uh, will you put it you on know. your story? And I'm not going to be like, no, I should be though. But I'm just like, okay, I will. They're like, will you follow me and all? I'm like, okay. Oh no. I, I saw your message. You're like, you're sending me wet all these random <laughs> people on your yeah. story. I was like, oh. I need these to men I never heard yeah, of. I need like, to delete the Instagram app when I review drinks. I'm well, for, in a minute, if they ask you, like, I, I thought know. you'd be getting them in the picture. No. <laughs> no. No, I take all the videos of the shots. I like that. I like. Oh yeah, I like good one too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't ask these <laughs> random people I've never met before. Do you want to go on my story and I tag you? No. Oh God, I just get offered. Oh no, I, yeah. I don't remember going to bed or anything. Was that? No. You were that drunk? Oh God, like do not remember. Don't remember leaving the pub. But I was because it's because you had it in your head. I'm gonna get really drunk. Oh yeah, yeah. That was my why. plan. I was asking the girls. I was like, girls, was I sloppy drunk? And they were like, no, 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 you weren't. Yeah, that's but, fine. Like. I was definitely still fucked yesterday morning when I woke up. Really? A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, you would do. But there's no more alcohol in your system. Like, yeah. it doesn't just go. No. Sometimes it doesn't go till like the evening time. Oh, I don't think mine did. No. Even when I got home yesterday from the wedding, I was sitting there looking at Bobby and I was like, I was kind of forgetting who he was. And I was like, oh God. <laughs> That's not, what's happening in my brain? I was looking at him and I was like, whose dog is this? Oh my God. I was scared of myself. I was like, I need to go to bed for a few hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went to bed and then woke up. Last night, like, and I was like, no, back to bed. Come back on. to bed. Yeah. It's just the alcohol leaving your body. You're going to be feeling a bit drained. We're doing sober September. Oh, yeah. We need to. Yeah. I'm doing sober 2022, like. The rest of 2022. Well, I have a few. Like, I'm just going to, like, at the light show, I'll have one drinker. Like, yeah. at EP, I don't even want to not even want to drink, honestly. No, yeah. <sighs> we just need a, a bit of a time off. Yeah. I think I beat to start it off. We, ha- we just had, everyone. yeah, we just had a bit of a wild summer, like. Yeah. But look, we got single, we had to. It was allowed, yeah. You have to be, you just have to be a bit off the rails for a while, but it's yeah. important to go back on the rails. Yeah, you need to get it out of your system. We need to, yeah, exactly. So that's what we did. Yeah, we yeah. just drank ourselves into hate and drink. Yeah. And that's fine. Yeah. But for the live show, I have you ever, because you've done Masterclass before, mm-hmm. for like 
makeup and stuff. Have you ever pulled a blank? No. 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 I cry at them though. Yeah, well then, you're not going to pull a blank at this. And you have me with you as well. Yeah, thank God. That if something, do, like if you go blank, I have something to say. We're not both going to stand like this. Yeah. <laughs> Two tumbles on yeah. the stage. Yeah. You're fine. I feel like we know if one of us has gone more yeah. quiet to say yeah, yeah. To, to say Jump something. in and yeah. say something, yeah. So it'll be fine. We just need to do the telep- telepathy. What's that? Telepathy. Telepathy. Yeah. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, that thing. Yeah. I drew a blank one time when I, when I was singing. I've never, I wasn't even that nervous. I don't know what it was. I was singing someone like you and I just completely forgot the words for the second verse and I just left the stage. <laughs> but I've done, I used to do singing all the time. Where were you doing that? It was in like a school talent show or something like, but I literally, that never happened to me. I never used to get like really that nervous to be yeah. forgetting. I went off stage and I was like, what the fuck? What? Because I don't remember what, how, like why did that happen? Like, Oh, God. So strange. No, that won't happen. We no, it won't happen. It, but it was weird. It was like, because I wasn't nervous, it happened. Yeah, it yeah. Never happened since. Never happened, like... It's an off day. Yeah. That's all. But we haven't even talked about it either. I know. I, what is I there to say other than it ruined our lives? Yeah, I touched on it last oh, week. Oh, you did? Week, yeah, yeah. I said we'd wait until you come back. Yeah. And fill everyone in. Do you know what? I thought, like... Where do we even begin? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> where do we no. begin? So first of all, we were there obviously by ourselves for a few days. Yeah. Which is lovely, staying near Maori. Lovely. Gorgeous hotel. We'll, we'll be staying there again, definitely. When yeah. We back. Simply beautiful. Gorgeous. Smells lovely as well. Yeah. I just... You loved the smell loved of it. the smell of it. Yeah. Like, I remember getting in at, what was it, after Amnesia, I got in at eight in the morning, like it's quite a fancy hotel. Yeah, yeah. And I get in because the taxis, Amnesia ended at six, couldn't get a taxi for two hours. I walk in my little like rave outfit and there's all these like <laughs> couples like walking around like real p- Going fancy for breakfast and I'm like hey. small, yeah. But a very couple hotel. It was. Yeah. Like we looked like a couple like Yeah. I was hugging Charlie one day and she was like, Get off me, people <laughs> people that think we're together. <laughs> I can't if there's men here, they can't <laughs> know they can't think we're together. <laughs> but yeah, it was really couple, wasn't it? It was really couple, but so nice. Mm. I would go there again. And then everyone ended up coming over then on the Saturday. And then, was it Saturday or Friday did they come? Friday, Sean and all came up. Yeah. Um, and they, yeah, they brought the, the party. They really did. Yeah. At least we had those few days before that to just... To relax a little bit. Yeah. But no, it was so good. I can't even think of any other, like... Oh, Ocean Beach was good. Yes. I was so drunk in that. Did you see our pictures we took in that? No. They were awful. Awful. I don't remember taking them. Do you know? I'm like this. I don't her know. Hair Do you remember was taking Oh, it, it looked like I had been out for days. The second I got there, because yeah. I had to just put my hair up, like took the shoes off. Yeah, gone. No, so good. But Ocean Beach makes you so drunk because I don't know why. Actually. I think everyone's just so giddy as well. Like you do be giddy, yeah. yeah. So you know everyone around you, and like, yeah. Also, because the drink is on your table, so you, you can keep just pouring yourself. Yeah, yeah, you're not waiting to, at the bar, to get, and you're just kind of keep like. Topping yourself up, even when your drink's not even empty. No. You just yeah. put, oh, I didn't kind of really taste the vodka right yeah, now. Just put a bit more in. <laughs> and you can't even taste Grey Goose anyway. Mm. On the best of days. So, got very drunk that day. You did? Can't actually remember leaving. Where has to be? Oh, SDK. It's here. Your was birthday. Great. That was great. Ball. So good. One of the best nights. I, I just think. hate the mask people. Oh, uh, there's this fella that runs around and he looks like. Um, what does he look like? He looks like Cousin It from the Adam oh, family. That is so funny you say that because Gemma, the girl doing my hair today, was only set, talking about that. Him. Oh, she? Yeah. And I haven't heard of him in ages because yeah. she was saying she's like him because of her hair. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but he's like cous- Cousin yeah, It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just hair. Just hair. Just and fluff. I just don't like the way he moves. I was dancing with him. He reminds me of a window, uh, the car wash. Oh, yeah, yeah. The things in the car wash. The spinny things. What are they called? What are they called there? I was going to say propellers, but that's a thing on a plane. What's it called? They sure need to have a name. Like a washer. A washer? Car washer? No. My car needs a fucking wash anyway. Those things, but I don't like them. No, it is a bit no. scary. But also I wanted... To I ran away and tore up my back to him and hid in the corner for a while. <laughs> don't like them. I don't know what it is. Something about thing, people in costumes I don't like. Our friend Cueva is like that. Cueva at Ryan. Yeah, yeah. She hates like any... Um, See, like, plexi, like, the leisure plex. Yeah. Dinosaur, all stuff like that. People in yeah. big costumes. It's a thing. It's definitely a thing. Like, I think I have it. Yeah. I just don't like it. Something about it I just find... Uh, like, uncomfortable. Yeah. No, what's the word? It's unsettling. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm not scared, in a sense. It's but just you don't like, like it. Like, away, like, Is yeah. it because you don't know who's underneath? I think so. Is that what it is? I think so. It's like, like there's somebody in, in the costume. Yeah, that is a bit weird. I was I driving know. to... um. 
I was driving down Kalani, there's a for to go on a walk and there was like this bear in a costume sitting like on the road like this. And I was like, am I seeing oh, things or what's going on? And what, like on a main road? On the main road. And he had a sign. It was obviously for like a, it was like a bed company or something. So in Kalani, like, and he's just sitting there like waving like this. And no. I was like, Dana, is he looking at us? And she's like, I don't know, I can't tell. No. Oh my God, it's terrifying. Uh, that, that freaked me out because it was in like, it was not in context at all. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing here? Like... Anyway, he's working anyway, whatever he's uh, advertising. God. Um, what else? Maybe then we just ruined ourselves. Mm-hmm. Drank. It was just a lot. This year, obviously, the clubs were back open, so it was just yeah. way more intense. Last year, we didn't get to do that. No. Last year, everything closed at one o'clock. Yes, yeah, so you'd go, yeah, you'd go back to a party somewhere, but like it would never be that intense as a no. club is. Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like we were in Amnesia till six o'clock in the morning. Like. Yeah. So far, that was the best. No, that, SEK, Amnesia and Ocean were my favourite nights. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not even mad into all them big clubs. But Amnesia was good, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. And Ants, I loved Ants as well. Hated that. Yeah, you hated that. Hated it. Ants is very heavy. Very. Techno. Not a lyric in sight. I would have loved to go to Calvin Harris. I know. And, I saw David even stories. It. It looks see the, what you see the Hitchcock and it's like, I'm good, yeah, I'm feeling yeah, like that. Yeah, that. Oh, yeah. Makes you want to go back. Not to lecture. I need a year off. Would you not go back this year? I don't know, actually. <laughs> <laughs> September, September. Oh, shit. No, I wouldn't go back in September. Would you not? No. When would you go? October. Like, it's all closed in October. The closing parties are in the middle of October. Are they? I think so. I think it's mad that it just closes then for September. Isn't months. it? Everything just closes. I know. The whole thing. Like, they obviously make so much money during the summer that they, they don't, don't have to, yeah. yeah they don't need no. to. What about people who live in Ibiza? The side, they've... Uh, price of the drinks in that country what if you live in Ibiza oh well all the restaurants be still open like yeah but there wouldn't be enough people to be to, for the clubs to be like oh yeah there'd be like 10 people be like yeah <laughs> like, or not 10 just like that you, know you and yeah. the DJ like <laughs> do you know like so, a private show yeah and that's wow. what that is but yeah we're back we're happy to be back happy to be back and we are excited for the live show mm. and we'll tell you all about it next week when oh we're god we talk about it for this week's Wait I Tell You, we always do a story of like, we kind of take turns of like a bit of drama or something that happened in our life mm. or just a random story. Yeah. But we something actually did happen. So I ended up in Telehospital. Way. Straight after Vita. So it was, how many days after Vita was it? Was it the next day? No. No, it was last Monday you were in a... I was in a Sunday night. Yeah, so about a week ago. Anyway, two days after Vita, I started getting these... Do you know what it was? It was the day before I, they got really bad. I was like, it was this like hunger pain. Okay. And I went to my kitchen and I ate every single morsel of food in that kitchen. I had two flake bars, I had crisps, bread, and nothing was filling the hunger pain. The, I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, it was the like hunger wasn't was, leaving you. It was like there was a hole and I was like, what the fuck? It was this ache, right? And then that was fine. I was like, obviously it's not wrong with me. I don't know what it is. I'm only back for a week. I'm probably fucked up. And then the next day I started getting these mad pains. And like every time I'd get them, it felt like that TMI, but like it felt like that pain of like, do you ever really need to shit yourself? Like, <laughs> not shit yourself, but no, it's not your, shit. Yeah, but it's yeah. like a sore. Yeah, did you yeah. ever be on the toilet? Is this really TMI? No, fuck, we're all it's fucking, we're all friends. <laughs> um, that feeling where you're like, oh, and like that feeling. Yeah, but that times a hundred and it doesn't leave even if you go to the toilet. Oh, then the pain was so bad I was vomiting with the pain, and also vomiting from whatever I had. So then. Went to A&E, was waiting there for 12 hours, 12 hours with this pain. Kept on knocking on the door to get more painkillers and all. They were like, we can't give you no more. And the, that like thing of not being able to not eat mm. still was like, it was, or the hunger pain. Like you didn't eating. know if you were hungry or you or didn't. Sick. Yeah, it was yeah, so yeah. strange. Like, so you ended up bringing me up a sandwich. I did. Thank you for that. No bother. And stuffing. But every time I ate, it was like the second I put something in my, in my mouth, it would start hurting. It was Your so weird. Knew, so it, it was, was like a nearly... struck start coming up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And what the problem ended up being is gastritis. So it's basically when you're lying and your stomach's inflamed. The tablets on now are for like stomach acids. Okay. So like obviously acid will irritate it. So obviously when I was going to eat something, the stomach started producing acid to break it down. Yeah. And that was yes, yeah, so they put me on it. Like put me on a drip. Oh, they gave me Gaviscon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The top of it, I'm not, I've never felt so sick. I've never tried, I've never had Gavscon in my life. It's so disgusting. Is it minty? I actually feel like wretched things. I'm not even Do like, you? so horrible. No, it tastes like licorice. And it's oh, thick. like it's sambuca. So, 
Yeah, and it's thick and it's pink. Tastes like Zambuca. Yeah, but it's thick. Oh no. And I don't like like that texture. Yeah, I don't yeah. really like milkshakes or anything like that. Or like, it reminds me of that antibiotic when you're younger, the thick one. The texture was like that. Did you ever have it? The no. white one. Oh, disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. And they gave me that, they gave me antiacids and then they gave me painkillers and stuff. And then they put like a drip in my arm for fluids. And look at the fucking prayers on my arm. I was only, yeah. I was, that is, yeah. Why did they put it in the top of your arm? I don't fucking know. I don't, you I think it, that to me. it was his first time, I think, doing it. And it was a doctor. It wasn't even a nurse. And I feel like when I've gotten stuff done before, the nurses are always better because they do it more often. Yeah. Because the doctor doesn't really do that like for you. Okay. It's usually a nurse, but there's obviously no nurse available. So he was like, he sat me down on like a random wooden chair and was doing it. And he was like, are you ready? And I was like, yeah. He's like, are you ready? And I was like, oh my God. Like, is he? I felt like he was nervous. What was like he going to do to me? Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, I'm going to pass out. I'm going to pass out. <laughs> and then just, I ended up being fine. But whatever tablets gave me made me very like faint and like real nauseous. And then I was sitting there with the drip in and the drip ends. So if a drip ends, the blood starts going. Remember? Us oh, there? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the blood starts going. If you get up the backwards. Blood, yeah, the blood starts getting sucked out of your arm. Yeah. So I got up and I'm sitting there with loads of other people on the little chairs with their drips. Like these old people. And they were like, um, I think there's something in. And I looked down and it's just blood. I was like, oh, oh, blood blood was in the I was like I'm going to get sick. I'm going to get sick. I'm going to get sick. And they were all like. Oh, no one knew what to do. And I had to run and find it. There was no like, nurse. Yeah, everyone stuck on their drips. No one could help. Like, there was nothing they could do oh. to help. I had to run and get a nurse because there was no nurse around. And they took it out and the blood went, I don't know where it went, to be honest, back into my arm or something. Or in the drip. Oh, oh even the thought no. makes me feel sick. Um, and then I got discharged at like 5 a.m. or something. And was sent on my merry way. I feel something the same. You went my back nanny, though, didn't you? Yeah, to go back. I was like, I feel very sick. <laughs> I feel sick. No, but my, na- my nanny said she was like you should have said no I'm staying here because I felt the exact same when I, yeah. I felt the exact same Yeah, like not one bit better like and had more fluids and stuff still dehydrated next morning what time would I went to sleep at then like 6 or 7 woke up at like 9 or 10 so got kind of a shit sleep and then started getting sick again and the pain it was so bad and I was on the phone to Eddie screaming crying it was, it was so horrible bad. like and the sick ones I've come and I was like oh my god if I keep getting sick I'm gonna get dehydrated and die like <laughs> so then I was panicking and then <laughs> honestly like it was just like would not stop and I hadn't even like I couldn't keep down food or water like and then I had a nap and then I felt much better after my nap did you? yeah so I took my tablets and then had a nap no tab- tablets before I got sick had a nap and felt much better then Maps just cure everything. Yeah, it did. If I closed my eyes for long, but I was now, still, I yeah, there. yeah. But I was still in pain. Like, I was still sore, but it was just like bearable then. Yeah. And I'm paying good as not wasn't as bad, but like, and I wasn't getting sick. That's the main thing that I didn't like of getting sick. The cat was gone, makes me feel so sick. Yeah, I puked my ring up yesterday. How do people do that? Oh, yeah, you did. When I came home. Sorry, I just wanted to It was just alcohol. Um, Coming up. No, just pure bile. bile. <laughs> Oh, it was great. But the reason Gosh. for my gastritis, which is what I have, is well, can be from excessive amounts of alcohol. Is it? Can be, yeah. It's like one of the main things. And you got it when you came off my beat. Yeah, so it was I beat it. Yeah, I beat it. Literally sent you. Oh, I'm gonna leave literally sent me up. Literally ripped my stomach. So it's when you're lying over your stomach is inflamed. Right. But my stomach's bad anyway. Yeah, Over there, yeah. we weren't eating right. We weren't drinking right. We weren't drinking enough water. Like, yeah, we were barely. We were run down as well. So it's just. Everything just hit you all at once. It was all just too much. It really was. Um, but yeah, really? I didn't really mind it. Twelve hours in a and though, I was kind of like I was on my iPad. I was like a little snotty kid with the right, you know, with the kids swinging her legs get, on yeah, the chair, yeah, yeah. <laughs> chatting to people. All like, what are you here for? You said there was a, a woman in there though, and she had like blood in her head and all. Nobody was seeing to oh, her. Oh, she was a nanny. Yeah, oh. and she was fuming that she went too long. She literally had a black eye and all like a big gash on her head. It was the saddest thing ever. Like, and they just left her sitting there. Yeah. Now, everyone that had broken limbs got seen to very quick, so it must be like a not of as busy a department or something. All right. And I was getting the x-ray. I was getting an x-ray in my chest because I think they thought it was, I don't know what they thought Um, there She was like, do you have any like jewellery on you and stuff? And I was like, I just got my nipples pierced. Oh, shit, yeah. And she was like, can you date them out? I was like, no. She was like, okay. That's How fine. did you do it? I don't know. Did she put that mat over your chest? No. Oh, so you are able to get... Yeah. I looked, yeah. I think it was fine. I don't know. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a, like a precaution kind of thing. Like yeah, maybe it's more for surgeries only. But I did. She did want me to take it off. But I couldn't. I had to wear a neck, necklace off and stuff. Sure. Yeah. But it wasn't nothing to do with my chest. And they started feeling my legs, and I was like, Oh my god, do I have a blood clot or something? Like oh, I was so scared. Tough. But yeah, that was it. 
Did um, you get your bill in the door yet? No, I wonder how much it's going to be. I think it's like 100, 100 euro. euro or something like this. Yeah. It was so sad though, there was no bed. Like there was a man talking to me and he was like, I was in Nice all last night looking for a bed, couldn't get one. And now I'm in here all night, still couldn't get one. Like Jesus. there's people on trolley, there was about six people on trolleys, like old people, like not even in a room. I remember when my sister Quiva was in A&E for something, I, don't know, I can't remember what it was, but she was put in like a cupboard room. Like, it wasn't even a real room. Oh, it's like the little, like, you're in, like, a little cubicle nearly. No, like, it was oh, literally like a like a, a stock room. Like. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Yeah. And she was left on a chair for hours as well. I was like, what's yeah, I was going on? And I was in a bed for a little bit and they fucked me out. Did they? Yeah. They took you out? Like, yeah. What did they say? You can't be here anymore? No, they were just like, you can just sit on your chair. <laughs> Get out of the bed. <laughs> oh, God. Get out of there. You should have pretended to be so asleep, you know, like when your mum used to walk into your room. Yeah, I should have, actually. That's pretty sweet. Well, in fairness, so you don't want a bed because that means that something's bad with, wrong with you. Oh, right, okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Because they take you straight over. So, so, like, I'm actually grateful that I'm healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Back to normal now. Yeah. German word of the week. Did you listen to my one last week? No, I only got halfway through the episodes. Spinner. Oh, yeah. Spider. And the sentence was... <sighs> ich habe... Spinner gesehen or something. Like th- yeah. Is that it? Spinner gesehen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I spider. Yeah. I'm basically German Very now. Very good. Yeah, are you proud of me? Very fucking proud. See? Wait, how do you think a spider? Did you just look it up? Or so you I knew sit- it already? No, I was sitting here with Quiva and I was looking at the corner of the couch and she was like, what are you looking at? Is it a spider? And then I was like, oh. Oh, was it a little mini one? No, it wasn't a spider at all. There was nothing there. Oh. She thought it was just looking at one. She was oh, terrified of it. So I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, Spinner, and I put it in on Google Translate Lady yeah. and got her to say it. And yeah, all. Yeah. It was like spin. So we gone for the spin, boys. <laughs> spin. She kept thinking the word was spin. I, know, I was like, you no, no, no. Yeah. You think it's gonna sound like that? Like so that's why I put it in on a sentence. I was like, right, I'll say the first three words mm-hmm. of the sentence, and then she got it. So yeah. you got it. Spin. Very fucking proud, girl. Proud of me. So I'm gonna do. I feel like you might know this. Kranken House. Um. Have you heard it? Do you recognise the words? I think so. Yeah. But I don't know what it is. It's house, house. Yeah. Firehouse. No. Hospital. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. So it literally translate, translates as sick house. Oh, God. Sick house, yeah. A sick house? Yeah. <gasps> yeah. That's how li- literal some of the words are. Though. Yeah, yeah. Mean, They're exactly broken they down. Mean. Yeah, too. What the fuck exactly. is hospital mean? If you think about it, like, it freaks me out. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. Hospital. Like what? Oh, Makes when, me a bit sick. What, when you think of how words are explained? Like, like, how is a word a word? How is water water? Like, Charlene, I'm having a brain Yeah, no, I know. I know. From last weekend. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, who I, named that that? Who decided that was that? Like, microphone. Who the fuck decided that? It was like the episode we did of things, oh, we things don't that don't make sense. sense. Yeah. yeah. Words. I thought so much more Speaking. stuff since then, yeah. Like, how are we all understanding what you were saying? I know, yeah. Like, how do languages work? How is what I say to you? How do you understand it? But then in another language, somebody else can say it, yeah. and I don't understand that. Things to think about. <laughs> Much to think about. <laughs> Jesus. So this week we're going to talk about how to be single. Couldn't tell you. <laughs> Struggling. Come on, pretend like you know. <laughs> um, yeah, because we're also learning. Yeah. And I have I have an article that I have, but also we're going to talk about some stuff ourselves as well okay um so if you haven't listened to our episodes already on our breakups that was uh out in june end of june was it yeah god how many months ago was that now two months ago two, yeah god nearly two full months we've been like openly single since mm. then openly single yeah i know as if it's like something to come <laughs> out about like <laughs> um yeah how are you how are you doing oh okay yeah. It's getting easier definitely as the days go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. And I'm just finding myself like thinking back on things, being like, wow. I think time is a, actually a healer. Yeah. Do you believe that now? Like, because I feel like when you first wake up and people tell you, I never believe, I'm like, fuck off. Yeah. Like, I'm just never going to get over this. Like, I don't know yeah. if, if like time is a healer. I just think I'm just more like, not understanding of it, but I'm just like, it is what it is. It is like, what it is. I love yeah. that quote. Very. It's so simple, but so good. It is what it is. Like, and if there's no, you can't force someone or something to change. Or like, if that was the direction your life, like the 
path you were going to go in, it's always going to happen. Like, so <laughs> there's no point <laughs> dwelling on things. No, like, yeah. Of course, I obviously, in an ideal world, wouldn't have wanted things to have been like that. Like, but, but that's what happens. Sometimes. It's life. And yeah. I don't hold grudges or fucking. No. I don't be petty online. Yeah. I don't be. You don't be. Don't be doing none of that now. No. But I think I think I think the way some people act after a breakup online really shows their true character. Oh, really shows who they are. A lot. Yeah, and who they wanted to be. And like I know we've definitely both said it, but I will never share another relationship online ever. No, never, ever, ever. Not not because I'd be embarrassed of someone who I'm with, or like I'd be doing it to protect me and them. Yeah, like no way would I do that again. Like obviously, I might mention if I end up in another relationship or something but I'm not going to do what I did in my last one and post about it and all but yeah I think the way sometimes he's acting online is kind of a practical joke <laughs> it's kind of to a bit of a to put it nicely a bit of a <laughs> kick sometimes yeah. but if that's what's getting him through the day and he's getting attention doing that and if it's working for if him that makes him happy you do listen that. if that's you making do, yeah. him happy and I've said that to him so many times before like I really do wish whoever you end up with next, you're happy. Yeah. Like, I don't I don't mm. want to be bitter towards you for the rest of my life. I don't want, not that I want to be friends with you either, but no. like, do you know what I mean? But come here, I'm happy now. Yeah. Definitely getting happier as the days go on. And you don't have to show your happiness. No. Like, in, like I don't have to way. prove like, to anyone online yeah. if I'm seeing someone or if I'm not. Mm-hmm. I don't owe anybody anything online. Yeah. Whether I choose to share that or not is... Is your me thing. and the same with you. Whether you choose to show yeah. or not is up to you. But like, I think I I keep saying that I wouldn't show online. But like, I think eventually when I do get in a relationship, like I I will like a little will bit. You? A little. I think I'll show the odd thing. Yeah. I, yeah. No, I wouldn't do what I do. But like, no. as, as well for you, you have different experience because of that you treated you badly then. Yeah. But like, I didn't have it. So like, if the only thing that annoyed me when we broke up was people always asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But other than that, like, it was always nice to like share and stuff. I'd I like, wouldn't do it to the extent. No, Jesus Christ, no. Yeah. Because people got very too invested in mine mm. like, and yours as well. And I remember you saying to me like... Which I get because you do. You, you're like, oh, I love them together. And like... Yeah. But some people got like made. Oh. Invested. Some people are still invested. Yeah. Like. And I don't know how I'd feel. I, I know we had this conversation before about like leaving pictures and stuff up on Instagram. Yeah, have you left pictures up? Yeah. So have I. I haven't. I'm not taking anything down. Someone told me that was the ick. If you of leave. Me. Yeah. I'm not... I'm not I'm I got through six years of pictures and delete them all. Also, like they were the they way. were a person in your life at that time. It was, it was a, a memory. Chapter. Yeah. yeah. A chapter in the book. Yeah. And Why apparently, I have to delete apparently it's memories? gonna make people uh not text me or something. Oh, no one texts me anyway. No one texts so. me anyway. But maybe that's why. Yeah, we're not fucking <laughs> missing out. <laughs> well, my gems are but like that's right. also why I don't think I wouldn't I wouldn't be plastering someone new with someone new like Because you could you look down a little bit and there's yeah, someone and there's older. pictures of me and my ex. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. Um, and any more like life learnings you found through the breakup or anything like that you've that you like about being single <laughs> no <laughs> I think I'm just very a relationship yeah, person yeah. I really yeah. am aren't I yeah yeah what is wrong with me well, that's not a bad thing like I don't think I can be single. Like, what was I like in Ibiza? And I, everyone was shocked. You were so I didn't kiss on the rail. One man. No, I didn't even. I didn't even want to. Didn't s- even speak to. I anyone. didn't even speak to any. No, didn't speak to one soul. No. Not that anybody was trying or like, but I just. I don't know no. what's going on with me, but like, that's just the person you are. It's not a bad thing. Am I in love again? Shit. Are you in love? No. <laughs> Are you? No. <laughs> I love <Dad>. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. But I just can't be arsed. Yeah. Well, I hate men, so. Yeah. Are you still on the hate men train? Oh, yeah. No, Are no, you? hate men. No, not hate men, but just. Oh, just, I don't know. You can't be bothered? No. Like, just on my healing girl stage. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I feel I think like I'm at the end of my healing girl stage. Really? Yeah. I feel like when I was with Dano, like, it was such a healthy relationship that, like, yeah. things I hadn't healed from before I met him have come back up now. Oh, and I yeah. thought I was healed from them because the relationship was so good. Yeah. But now that's over, I'm like, 
Oh, I'm actually not healed. No, you said I'm no, back no, in therapy. Nothing. I'm joined last week. Yeah. She was a lovely woman. Lovely. I didn't really like the old therapist, so I had to get a new one. Oh, did you not? No. They say that's and the She thing, didn't really you... get me. Yeah, you need, <laughs> you need to. She thought it was... I don't think a lot of people get you. <laughs> <laughs> but they say that that's the thing. You need to... Yeah. You find your therapist. Like, they yeah. don't find you kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And she, the new one's actually so nice. The girl I had last year was so lovely. Really? Yeah, I'll never forget my first therapy session where I just sat there and bawled for the whole thing. Oh. Just sobbed I don't even think I, I, I don't even think I spoke much yeah but that says I think that was just says more all listening. words yeah I was just listening to her and I just wanted somebody who wasn't in my life to give you an opinion yeah so. just to let it all out yeah I think when I, I wonder if she see me on Instagram now and say ah she's doing alright oh, I yeah. think she did follow me on Instagram oh did she yeah, she was young like yeah. oh not that everybody who's wrong has followed me, no, but I no, think yeah. she was mentioning things I think like it made sense. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that's gas. Yeah. Oh, she's pretty proud of you. I hope she is. Aww. And not looking at me saying she needs to come back here. <laughs> ASAP Rocky. She needs to get back yeah. in. Um what was I saying there? Yeah, about healing. Oh yeah, when I was with my old therapy like sometimes with therapy, like I'm very I don't trust my own decisions a lot. I like will question them even though I have a good feeling on stuff. Mm. I want someone else to tell me to do something. Mm. It's like my old therapist I like, was kinda like Waiting for her to tell me what to do in my life, and they can't do that. Like, yeah, I never knew that. They yeah, can't they tell can't you tell what you. to do. So, like, what, d- so what do you think yeah. you should do? And they're like, I can't tell you. I'm like, Fuck. so they just advise <laughs> you. Is it just they give you to like, you? They give you the tools, and you create the the box. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't know. I made the quote up. They give you the tools, and you create the toolkits. <laughs> Is it? Maybe. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, they can't. Yeah, yeah they they're can't. not allowed to tell you what to do. No, Is that in case you go and do it, and then you blame them. I think so. I think it's just a, a thing. Like, it's yeah. mostly just to protect themselves in that sense. But, like, yeah. But, yeah, this, I think I just have things I need to, like, heal from that I forgot that were there. Because yeah. I was in such a good relationship. It was so healthy. Like, yeah, yeah. It was not one time where I felt, which I'm so grateful for, like, like, untrusting or, like, no, yeah. on edge or, like, where it was I had in rela- last relationships. Like, so I think I need to work on everything that I had from past relationships mm. and then. See where the wind takes me. And then go forward from there. Go forward from there, yeah. Yeah. It's weird. I feel weird being single. Do you? Because it's never something that I pictured. Like, yeah. And now where I am, I'm like, what? Like, oh, I was I'm married like, with kids in a house. Yeah, exactly. In my head. But yeah. Come here. It's kind of like you have to relearn yourself again. You do. And like your personality. Like, who am I yeah. without that person? Yeah, because you mould into one person in yeah. a relationship. Yeah. Your life is just you and him. Yeah. And you're mushed into one person. But like, even though you were with him and I was with Daniel, like, we still... It's not like we ever like didn't see our friends. And stuff no. Like that. So gotcha. in my head, I was like, oh no, I'm still very independent and all. But then it's like when you lose them, it's like, oh shit. Actually, oh shit. They yeah. actually still are a loss, even if you're really independent in the relationship. I like, think as well as not talking to someone 24 7 as well. Like, that was something I had to learn. Really? Yeah. I don't really like I'm not a good texter. I'm not a good texter, but like FaceTime calls all the time. I do and like a good call. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, oh, when the phone's not ringing. Um, yeah. That Pauline. is weird. Hello. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. <laughs> I've never rang my friends in yeah. my fucking life. Yeah. But I think we're doing much better than we were. I at, think so. In that episode. Yeah. The days are getting easier and it's one of those things. Why do I keep thinking of it like the traffic? Oh. See okay. when people give out about traffic and they're sitting in traffic and they get so... I kind of used to get getting so angry about traffic. Like, okay. Like fuming about traffic I'm like there is nothing oh I always think I hate that too nothing you can, you can do, do about it you just have to wait so just fucking sit there and so just why you let yourself yeah. get so wound yeah. up yeah why are you getting so angry over something you can't control yeah and that's the kind of way I'm looking at nearly not even just my past relationship but life now at this stage I'm just kind of like love that analogy if there's nothing I if, yeah, there's, nothing if there is something do. I can do to control it okay I will but if there's nothing I can do to, to change things if things are inevitably going to happen yeah I'm not then that's how it goes. I'm not getting myself wound up. No. I'm not putting myself in the position that I was in last year. It is what it is. It is what it is. Until it isn't. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's so true though. Yeah. It's just take each day as it comes, isn't it? It's fucking life, yeah. And you still get days when you're like... Day by day. Sad. Mm. Like, do you still get up and down or are you kind of like leveled out to like an even like... Yeah. What do you think? Um... I'm more kind of, I'm not as up and down as I was. No. no. Is it like mini way? Like, yeah. yeah. I threw out a picture frame the other day on that. Did you? West. Yeah. I threw out a dressing gown. Did you? But like, it just was collecting dust in the water. I wasn't really that sad about that. Oh, it was in really the, the, the frame was in the wardrobe. His mum made it for us. Oh. Yeah, we've th- we had two matching frames. but And it was like nine pictures of like, just over the okay, years. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. She made them for us. And I 
put it in the bin pile the other day. And I was like, my mum was like, why are you throwing that out? It's lovely. And I was like, what? She goes, those pictures are... there. She was halfway up the stairs looking at it. She was like, they're gorgeous pictures, are they? But there was one of me on my own at the bottom. Okay, so she only seen that. So she saw, and she was like, oh. Burn it. She just kind of came up and she was like, <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. And then last night when I walked into my room, the one picture of me, she took it out with the frame and Aww. left it on my bedside locker. So she was like, you, I don't know where the frame is now. I think she threw it away, but That's stuff so like that I found cute. hard to get rid of. His yeah. clothes and stuff. Should I just give them back to him? Yeah, I gave them back to him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Key rings and shit I gave them back. Yeah. Like, I gave everything back. Did you? Yeah. Because I found me looking at them was just a constant reminder. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I still even get some Snapchat memories and stuff. Yeah, I'm, I got one today actually, yeah. But I just go on and delete it then. Yeah. I don't look at it. Mm. Can't. It's mad, isn't it? Isn't it? And I changed my Facebook to single for the first time in seven did years. You? Mine yeah. was actually never, I never changed it into a relationship. Oh, did you know? Single, I don't really use Facebook Oh, I don't use Facebook at all. But just, you wanted to do yeah. it for like you? Well, no, I think he did it first time I was like, oh. Oh, Okay. <laughs> Let them fucking know. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And you think like that, I think for him, well, looking at him, what he's doing, uh, Connor, I mean, like, boys kind of like break up very differently. They say I that though, think, don't they? Oh, it's so true. I feel like boys at the start would be like, yeah, single, blah, 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 get all these girls, blah, blah, blah. And then they're like, months later, they're like, fuck. Fuck. What have I done? Yeah. And they actually are like, fuck, what have I done? And you think girls are the opposite? Like, yeah. We're too healed and we're too grown to be like, like my two exes before Dano, that was the two times I, I was broken up with and both times they tried to get back, back with me and I was like, stop. No. Really? Yeah. It's always the way. They try to creep back in because they see you doing good and they're sad. Yeah. Yeah. It's always the way. And do you think you and Dano will ever be friends? Yeah, we're mates now. Like, yeah, we're on good always, terms now. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll always care for him and stuff, obviously. And like, who knows in the future and stuff as well. Like, if if nothing's on bad terms, I'd never reel something out. Either, yeah, in that case, yeah. you know. But for now, this is what I need. I need to be selfish and think of what I need and yeah. what I want and what I. We were having selfish yeah, girl summer. Selfish girl summer and selfish girl winter as well. Yeah. Yep. I don't feel any different now coming into winter, I don't think. No. I've never been one then that's like, oh my God, I need a fella for I winter. I need a fella for winter. Why? Because I just want to get like, I feel so very focused at the moment for like work-wise. Yeah. I want to get just, throw myself into that and like just. Give that your And like, all. yeah. And just be by myself. Yeah. I see my, I, as a part I see men as like a distraction. Not when you have a boyfriend, like, but just, I mean like, like little men. Do you know having what I mean? Little men. Like having to text people back. Having to entertain off. people. Yeah. yeah. And when you're first talking to someone, you have to be on the bottom. Like you have to be texting back. Yeah. And like if I'm, I just can't. I need to just focus on me. Yeah. And live my life. So that's where we are now with our single stage. That's where we are. Yeah. And anyone else, we actually got a few messages off people saying that they're newly single and they're like seeing you be okay is like, mm. makes me feel like I'm going to be okay. And you will be okay. We'll always be okay. Yeah. You'll have shit days, of course, but... Yeah. God has our life planned out for us and I truly believe this. Mm-hmm. And like the whole thing, will up until you die, I think he does. Really? Oh, yeah. 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 But we just don't know what it is. We don't know what it is. He's looking like watching a but movie. But that's so exciting, like, yeah. to know that, that that you have that planned yeah. and, like, your opportunities you can like, do. What did I say to you one day? I was like, Shailene, isn't it mad? Like, we might, uh, we might not have met our husbands yet. Yeah, I thought that was mad. Isn't that weird? That is mad. I don't know if I want to get married anymore. Oh, after last weekend, I can't wait. Really? Yeah, I'm having a week-long wedding. Fuck that. <laughs> I don't know. No? I don't know. I do, but I don't. I'm going to get married in a dare manner. Like, I, for some reason, I feel like I'm going to be, like, the auntie who, like, chose a career over a man. No. And, like, doesn't have any kids. get married and all, would just stop. I can't wait to get married. Mm. I used to be like, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm not in love. Yeah. If I, like, was, I would want to. Yeah. Be. Yeah. That was it. That's all from us, I think. Yeah, yeah. Oh, think if you compare this episode to like the one literally eight weeks ago, mm. that should give you hope because two of us were depressed. Never mind. Oh, God. <laughs> Do you know like, what I mean? Like we were, and that was a few months, was it a few months in? A couple months in. Yeah. Well, yeah. It was fucking rocky for you. Yeah. Like. But even compare that eight weeks ago to now, like. Mm. So if you, was, if you were looking back at yourself when you had just broken up with Connor. What three tips would you give yourself if you could like talk to past you? <gasps> um. Oh God, I wish I I wish I had thought more about like the future. 
Like, and I know we say now, like, you just take it day by day. Yeah. And back then, even I said, I'm just taking it day by day. Okay. But I wish I had told myself more, like, Ellie, think of yourself this time next year. You'll be fine. Okay. Like, yeah, instead, remind, of just, instead of taking it day by yeah, day. Yeah. Okay. I wish I'd reminded myself more, like, mm-hmm. you're going to look back at this and be like, oh, my God. Yeah. And of course, you're going to have your days and you're allowed to feel like that and don't suppress your feelings and let all that out. But, yeah, I wish I reminded myself more of that, like. Yeah. You'll be grand. Yeah. You'll always be grand. Yeah. I don't think I have three tips. Because I think you, you need to go through the waves of it. Like, you need yeah. to go through the motions of it. Yeah, I'd say let yourself be sad. Yeah, definitely. Like, have, don't force yourself not to feel sad. No, yeah, cry, yeah. cry, cry. Surround yourself with people who you love. Yes. Pla- have things planned to do. Yeah. Go off the rails for a little bit if you want, because yeah. we all need it, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm not even going to, like, people say, oh, don't turn to, like, going out and, like, Oh, yeah, we but did, like you, yeah I'm not not like advertising but like yeah. sometimes you do have you to even if, to. even if going out isn't your thing like doing just things that like blowing off a bit of steam like, not, exactly doing yeah. things that like maybe you would have been scared to do or like you didn't do as much get your nipples pierced like yes, me yes tiny right. just little things like that like we got tattoos and all yeah and then yeah just knowing that pain is only temporary temporary and it gets yeah. better because it does it does yeah so we're gonna jump into our secrets in the stalls where we give you advice or try to. Try to. Not viable. Nope. Um, so first one is, whenever me and my boyfriend have an argument or disagreement, he always jumps to being defensive and I always end up hurt because he doesn't think before he speaks. He's always horrible to me, even after talking about it on a few different occasions and he still seems to be doing it and it's like everything goes out the window. I understand arguing is normal, but he takes it to another level and I end up just sat there crying, hurt and crying. It's embarrassing. No idea what to do because I never saw myself end things with him, but it's really starting to irritate me. Help. We have holidays booked too and I'm stressing. So he's just holding a grudge like and just dragging it out. So he's just a horrible bastard. <laughs> God. Just keeping it going like. I think like we said just there about when someone shows someone's true colours when they when you break up it shows their true colours like when they're angry I think. Mm. Or sad or something. Yeah. Doesn't it like. When it's a different emotion. When yeah when they're going through something like yeah. everyone can be nice when they're happy and like everything's going well but mm. what about when there's a problem and life gets shit mm. is he gonna treat you like that if like in your in the future like your kids or something bad or, yeah like, yeah yeah do you know what I mean how someone acts when they have big emotions like that says a lot about them what's um, what's that saying don't make a temporary what don't make a permanent decision based on, on a, a temporary, temporary feeling, feeling kind yeah. of thing so like yeah. he's having a temporary argument yeah. but he's permanently dragging it Playing out saying horrible things that's awful like being there sat and really and hurt and really crying and I think that like if someone can sit there and watch you be that's, that's yeah. scary yeah, yeah, yeah that's like not right no and like a boyfriend shouldn't haven't been in a healthy relationship and haven't been in a health, unhealthy relationship as well a boyfriend shouldn't be making you sad like. no if you're constantly upset or like or just yeah. saying horrible things to you being able to pinpoint exactly when you feel like that, like if if the, if you're being made feel like that more than you are being happy, yeah, that thing I said That's, a lot. I think. Yeah, yeah. I think someone who cares about you should care if they're also making you upset. Yeah, That's on him. Yeah, I would end things. And he obviously knows that he's making you upset. Like, yeah, but it's hard. It's so hard, easy for me to say I would end things. But like, yeah, when you're in it, it's so different. But also now that I have ended something, like, do you know what? No, like it. It's a big decision, but you do. It's something you have to make. Like you come out the the other end. Yeah, you yeah. do. And it's like you have to put yourself first and say, "I'm not going to let myself sit there and get hurt all the time by this man and him get away with it." Like and the holidays booked thing that happened to me before, but a fuck holiday. Go with your friends, book it with someone else, and said, "Yeah, the holiday." Make I it work keep, for you. Like. Yeah, I wouldn't keep the holiday thing in your head about no. being with someone because yeah. you're probably going to fight in that holiday and you'll hurt you even more. Yeah, there's nothing worse than fighting on holidays. Yeah. And the longer you stay in it, the longer he's going to hurt you and it's going to keep going. Yeah, exactly. You need to let him know like it's not okay for him to talk to you like that, even when he is angry. Yeah, actually, I'd have that conversation not first. Not excuse, yeah. Don't just, don't, yeah. Just be like, here, it's actually really not okay what you're saying no, to me, not yeah. normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They shouldn't be hor- even like calling you horrible names and stuff. I wouldn't tolerate that at all anymore. No. Mm-mm. At all. Oh, no. From being My tolerance with men now is... Yeah. I don't mean with Dan- Dano never would have done that, but I mean, no, when yeah. I got with Dano, I was like, if he ever would call me a name, I'd be gone. Yeah. 
No, I wouldn't. I need to, need a to, man call me any name. No. Or even speak to me like... It's a respect. It's a, your respect is gone for someone once you start calling them names. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then once they call you a name once, it's like they can call you again. Yeah, they think they can that, get away that with that line it. is broken. That bar, yeah. like... Or that... Yeah. So let them know. Yeah. It's not okay. Yeah. And if he keeps doing it... And you, if you tell someone something they're doing is upsetting you and they keep doing it, they have no respect for you. And they no. Don't, they don't yeah. actually care about you. And mm-hmm. that's just the truth. Like, mm-hmm. So... We love you. Love you. This guy has been texting me and I'm just not feeling it. I get major ick vibe from <laughs> ick vibes from him and I don't know how to tell him I'm just not feeling it. The things he says to me makes my skin crawl and I just can't bear it <laughs> from telling me he is in love with me to planning a life and talking about having babies. It's all too much for someone who has only been texting me three weeks. Girls, please help a girl out. What do I do in this situation and how do I tell him? P.S. I love you girls and your podcast has helped me a lot grow as a person. You are amazing Aww. women. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Lord. Are you giving him any indication here, though, that you're also on that? Because surely he wouldn't just be talking about kids and you're just being like, yeah. I just stopped texting. Yeah. Ghost. This is giving me major, like, love bombing vibes. That's bad. When someone love bombs you and then all of a sudden they, like, take it back and you get, like, addicted because you're like, oh, my God. Yeah. Why aren't they, like, how they were? Yeah. Narcissist vibes. Or else I just tell him, come here, you're actually doing too much. I would say, I've said this Would you much. tell him, like? No, I would, no, I would. <laughs> would no, you? I'd avoid that. Would you? Or I'd be, do you know what, you could be like, look, I'm, I'm actually, like, only, I'd pretend or something in that relationship or, like, I don't really want to be talking to anyone and this is just a bit too much for me. Yeah. Something. Give him kind of an indication. Don't be like, here, you give me the fucking ick. Here, you are the walking ick. Yeah. Oh, that is bad. That's kind of like me, though. I feel like I'm like... <laughs> What the walking ick? No, no. Like if I, like I'm, I feel like I move things quite quick. If I yeah. Someone like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very quick, actually. Oh, you do. Yeah, definitely. But. Um, but sometimes that's just your per- personality. But yeah, you, I don't think you'd be talking about weddings. No, and Jesus babies, Christ. And shit. Well, unless they are. Which <laughs> <laughs> means like if they brought it, up, brought by it up, I like, might. Maybe. Yeah. But yeah, I don't. I just don't like all this like small talk and all. I'd rather like. Get right into like, Harry, do you like me or not? <laughs> I'm so out straight. Like. Yeah, are we in love or not? Or what's going on? Yeah. My two, wait, three boyfriends. Oh, definitely my second and my third. Like, my ex before Dano and Tano, I was like, are you going to ask me out yet? Ask and they had, I had made them ask me, like. Oh, good Jesus. So if I ever get with someone again and they aren't engaged or proposing, we'll be like, so. Yeah, so the what's ring? going on here? I just don't like You'd waste time. Life's too short to be. Yeah. To be him and Han, like yeah, yeah, true. but yeah, I know. I I would end things with him. Would you tell him or would you just stop talking to him? I'd give him an explanation. Would you? Yeah, I I've never ghosted someone. I've always had to tell them, and I always feel it's because I feel too guilty. Like I feel very formal, but like I was only texting this guy one time, and I just wasn't really feeling. That. And I had to gave him like a big paragraph of why I didn't want to text anymore. A breakdown, like <laughs> yeah, I just because I was like, oh, bullet I'm points, just, just not feeling this. Like I'm in a relationship, blah, 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 like. All this, and I just felt bad. I was like, if you leave someone ghosted, like you're leaving them on, Maybe like questioning themselves, yeah. and I don't like that. I, I wouldn't want to be question, like questioning myself. So I would tell. Them. Maybe I wouldn't leave them ghosted. Okay? No. Maybe that's a stretch. But like, I think I'd let it kind of just fizzle out a bit. Like, yeah, but this man isn't gonna let it fizzle. He wants kids. This man, <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be sending you love letters through the door. Be like, look, uh, what we call him, look, Bob. Bob, I'm you're not doing the most. You're not, yeah. Just, um, I actually kind of want to focus on myself for a little while and don't really want to be talking to anyone. P.S. You're also, and I it. feel like this. I feel like it's just getting a bit too much and too serious for what I wanted. You're such a lovely guy. You literally, write this down right now. <laughs> you're such a lovely guy, and maybe we'll rekindle in the future. Yeah, not to love. That's a nice one. Yeah, and hopefully, don't we... say the rekindle because he get, gets hopes up then. Oh yeah, yeah. Just okay. be like, you're you're such a lovely fella, but just not what I'm looking for right now. Yeah. So, the last one. Hey, girls, bit of a long one. Do you ever feel pressure to be in the gym and eat healthy, etc.? I fall on and off the fitness wagon all the time. Can never understand why I can't keep it up. Feeling guilty for not going, not eating on a plan. Can ruin my week, but I want to stay in bed for the day, I will. But if I want to stay in bed for the day, I will. How do you use deal feeling shitty in this way, if you ever do? I've been to the gym since April. It's currently August. April? Yeah. Oh, because the boobs. Yeah. yeah. And how do you feel? Don't really care. Your body's a shell. That sounds awful, actually. <laughs> That's so true. I'm just like... We, had just ha- we did this house before in the podcast. I go it? through phases of it, like... Yeah. 
he, someone said it to me before actually was it someone what? like out or someone they were like I used to be flat in the gym all the time and I was like you're like <laughs> are you trying to send me something <laughs> <laughs> but like I go through phases with him but it's only because you're on Instagram that like if you're there you like you'd be putting it up yeah so that's why people like would think that like yeah, yeah. know it was that whoever that was last or right now the last thing on my mind is the gym yeah I'm eating healthy and all I yeah. don't I, I feel shit when I eat shit yeah but I'm just in this mind frame of I don't really care okay. right now yeah I'm not trying to impress anyone like I just I don't know I feel like being on and off is better than being off altogether. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Even if you go through phases, like you're get like you're, you're doing fitter. it at one stage. Yeah, you're yeah. getting but what I see it's good. Like you're getting a bit fitter, you're getting good nutrients into it, and then if the next week all you want to eat is McDonald's, like yeah, balance. You know what I mean? Yeah, balance. <laughs> one week on, one week yeah. off. Yeah. Um, but now I like I find I have a trainer, so having her like keeps me accountable but like if I don't do something I'll be like then I'll feel bad would you because I'm like I have it on the app and you have to tick it off and, like if that's not ticked off it'll annoy me I used to not be able to see all yesterday. that my fitness pal bollocks yeah, and all that I like now. doing that no do you not I think that's so unhealthy really yeah I only do it for my like to get my make sure I get all my protein and I wouldn't be too stressed about the calories right so and I make sure I get enough because I know I don't eat enough calories it would never be like I need to eat this like so few because I eat a lot of calories. Like. Yeah, like I know I'm obviously no expert to be even talking about this. Mm-hmm. But like I think the whole, like restricting yourself of what foods you can eat and stuff. I think that is such an unhealthy way of, yeah. Of thinking, yeah. You should be able to do things like, you should be able to eat what you like, when you like, within reason. If yeah, you know what of I mean. course. Like, yeah. I don't put much pressure on myself food-wise. As long as I'm in the gym. Yeah. Then I'm like, well... I need like, fuel. I give yeah. me all the bootums. <laughs> I I see people on Instagram and it's like you look so consumed with this. Yeah, in such an it's unhealthy like all way. Day, every yeah. day thing. Yeah, like you look like you live no other life mm-hmm. than just that. Yeah, like mm-hmm. I don't know. It does say yeah. I had a trainer before and like he had me on like such low calories and training all the time, like five, seven days a week. No, I was in even on my rest days. I was in doing cardio and like I got so thin for me like for my yeah yeah my, like even looking back I'm like what the fuck like and I didn't even want that yeah but he was just like no like that's what you need to do like it was so bad like I know it is hard obviously that to find that awful. balance and stuff but like that wasn't balance that was fucking acting as if I'm prepping for a show or for, something yeah. like no <laughs> a bodybuilding yeah, show yeah do you know what I mean but like finding the balance of like you want to work out you, but you also want to be able to live your, your life. life yeah yeah you want to eat good, but you also don't just want to eat fucking le- lettuce leaves for breakfast. Don't you do yeah, and like, you don't want to feel guilty if you do want to yeah. eat something better. If you want to have a brownie, eat the brownie, brownie, babe. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm just, yeah. I've never had, thank God Jesus, touch wood, and I know so many girls and boys go through it. I've never had an unhel- unhe- uh, unhealthy relationship with mm-hmm. food, but um, you can definitely see, like, how much it can consume people. And obviously Instagram and stuff doesn't help. Help, <laughs> no. It's scary. Yeah. Even like all them run years ago, Tumblr and all this when the tie gap was in fashion. Like what? Like all these exercises to get a tie gap. But like tie gap like is your body composition. It's that's not your, your body. Yeah, yeah. It's how your hips are placed. That's not like, something you can you can get. No. Like unless you absolutely starve yourself. No. Or something. I know. Like, no. It's mental when you think yeah. about it, isn't it? It's so sad. Well, I don't like don't put yourself under too much pressure. Like Charlene said, being on and off is better than being off. Yeah. <laughs> all the time. Like, yeah. If you want to. But also, bed. if you want to be off and you're not into the gym and stuff. Yeah. That's fine too. It's so it's so hard because there's so many like conflicting. I know decisions because yeah. it's like then it's like also you have to be like if you want to be in the gym like it's dedication if you want to yeah like, get but it's hard. I know if you're not feeling it you're not feeling it. I know. But sometimes also the days you're not feeling it are the best workouts you have. Yeah, when you do go, do you know? So I need to go back ASAP, Rocky. Yeah, I really I'm do. Back yesterday, my gym does be sweating though. It's so warm. Is it? The aircon wouldn't go stray. I had to get another new gym card and I look like the devil on it. Will you stop? I, don't, my, I must have relaxed my eyes because I was like this. <laughs> but that was our dilemmas for this week. Yes. We have more on Mondays in Extra Juice, our yes. bonus episodes that come every Monday. And you can listen to that on the Go Loud app or wherever you get your podcasts. And tomorrow we have Dilemmas live. Oh, oh my lanta. Oh my God. Live Dilemmas. Oh, we're going to have to think of really good advice. I'm not, I won't be allowed to sit on the couch like this. I'm literally oh, yeah, sitting here, legs my legs are spread. spread. <laughs> I'm half asleep on the couch. <laughs> we'll have to sit prim and proper, like. I know, yeah. Fuck. Fuck. We'll be fine. Yeah. Next time we're in this studio, it'll be all over. I know. 
Do you ever see that sound on TikTok? It's like, enjoy the butterflies. Enjoy the... Aww. Do you ever see that? No. Oh, I'm going to do Send a to video me. on oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, do it. Next, we have Sipper Skip. So we take one topic based on the week's episode. And because the podcast is home, I drink. We either sip or we skip. Mm-hmm. This week's Sipper Skip is texting someone. <laughs> Sipper Skip. <laughs> like, would you ra- do you mean, like, would you rather text someone or call someone? Like, is that what you mean? I'm just texting men in general, oh. to be honest. Skip. Skip. I just do you know what I like I discovered that I actually don't like meeting someone online like obviously Dana mm-hmm. was different because I texted him but I would I've never like went on a date or like uh, with someone who's texted me yeah I've only ever texted I texted someone twice myself and then everyone else has only ever been people like me first yeah 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 because if I see someone if someone texts me and I click on their Instagram like even though they might be a good looking person I'm like I just get the ick do you I'm never. I'm not gonna get texted ever again after I said no. It's never. not even the ick. It's just like I like to know someone's, unless I text them first. But I like to know like their vibe mm. or something. It's like I can't be attracted to someone until I meet them. I think. I think in that. I think on Instagram or what? Not even Instagram, but just in general. Like I'm not on any dating apps or anything. But like, mm. I think the whole thought of having to get get to know uh. someone online that you don't know. Like if I know of someone, yeah. Through someone or something, when they text me, I think I'd yeah, I'd be more inclined to text, to them, text back them back rather than a complete and utter stranger. Yeah, someone, yeah, 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 true. But also, do you ever see how people do be dating multiple people? Like you have to tell them the same facts about yourself and over rotation. and over again. Some people love that, just constantly being entertained with people or entertaining people. You forget what they tell you. Do like, I tell you that story? Or? Yeah. Which one are you again? Which one are you again? <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> yeah, I don't know the texting thing. I just think it takes up a lot of time. Yeah, because I when I'm texting someone, I will be good at like at replying. So then it takes up space in my brain. That I have to keep replying. It's so different to years ago. Like remember, you were a teenager. All you did was text people. Oh yeah, H Y L. Who you love? Like yeah. between MSN, Bebo, the phones. Yeah, the, those Nokia keypad phones and the Samsung <gasps> ones. And all. I used to love them. I used to be no, so I don't think I was. Texting. I don't think I was a big texter when I was younger. I was BBM and all. Really? You ever have BBM? I think I was a bit awkward right now. Actually, was I awkward right now? Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't a great texter. But now, I actually am a really good texter now, I think. I would be like, yeah. Just have a pot there, sure. I have a great... I, yeah. I actually am, like, I just feel like I'm very, like... Yeah, you're very entertaining. Oh, yeah, like... You've turned into a bit of a comedian this year. I don't know what's going on with you, yeah. <laughs> the single me. You're very funny. <laughs> very funny. Yeah, well, now I just need to find a man to be funny. For. No, I don't even want a fella. Do you not? No. No, I really couldn't think of anything worse. No. Like someone to just be reliant on me and for their happiness. Like, I just like someone to hold me when I'm hungover. Well, yeah, but that would be fine. But like, other than that, can you rent a man for a hungover day? <laughs> yeah. So texting is a skip for me. I'm going to skip it. Yeah. But then again, you might meet like might someone meet someone and you want to talk to them and all. But like, I'd love if they were a phone call person. Like, Really? You I could just call every few hours just to check in. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. Not texting, like. At what age do you stop texting someone like? Like say if I'm like 35 and still single. <laughs> which is probable. Like what do you still do you texting like a little teenager? Like like when were you younger and people used to text you what's up kiss kiss. Like, yeah. Like oh not much you. Yeah. Like, how do you start that conversation M-M-U. now? At this age. Someone's hardly going to text you saying You're what's like, up. like just at home with my child or something. Like <laughs> like you don't text saying what's up now do you? Yeah. I feel like it's just a constant conversation that happens. It's not like a, you don't end yeah, yeah, and yeah. have to restart yeah. the next day. You have to be way more comfortable constantly now. Because back then it was okay to say what's up, but now they have to think of like chat lines or like reply to your story or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. But like, I don't, think, I don't think men text us because we, they might think we don't reply. Yeah. We but I did just say I'm not going <laughs> to. Yeah. No, but like, yeah. It's really probably a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't actually recommend. Sorry about that. Yeah, but like I said, I'd rather meet someone in person. Mm. Much rather, but there's no one in Dublin, so. Dublin's a very small place. Happy days. Very small. Yeah. So we're skipping. Skip. Skip to Bye-bye. And that was it. That's us. Happy to be back. Very happy. I hope we, get, we gave you some single tips. I know. And some hope. Yeah. That everything always works out and everything is always going to be okay. Yeah. And that things happen for a reason and if something's meant to be, it will be. Yeah. In the end. Mm-hmm. And things, I feel like things always make sense. Do you ever get a few bad things happen to you? But then one good thing ha- happens and you're like, 
if they hadn't happened, this one thing, good thing wouldn't have yeah. happened. And it all clicks. Yeah, it's, there's, there's, gonna be, there's gonna be a day for us where it's like a day of realization, and you're just like, oh. And it's a nice feel ever. It's like you just finished a puzzle. Yeah. And you put them, yeah, you slot it in. And it's framed on your wall now. Yeah. And it made sense. Yeah. Yeah. But we love you. We love you so much. And thank you so much to Primark for sponsoring our podcast. As, as always. always. We're yeah. so, so grateful. And thank you for sponsoring the live show as well. Mm. Um, you can listen to our extra juice from Monday, which is out now. Mm-hmm. And all the ones before that as well. So, yeah. We will love you. Chat to you soon. Talk to you next week. Okay. Love you. Bye. Bye. Subscribe to this podcast for free on the Go Loud app.